I recently benchmarked the HP Pavilion Gaming in its stock form, but what are the upgrade options and how does it perform after being upgraded? Let's find out. Before I do the upgrade, let's do a quick recap of the specs. If you want the details, watch my benchmarked video that was recently done on this laptop. On the inside, we have a 4-core AMD Ryzen 5 3550H with a max boost of 3.7GHz, a single stick of 8GB DDR4 RAM at 2666MHz, a 256GB M.2 NVMe SSD, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 with 3GB of GDDR5, a 15.6-inch 1080p matte IPS 60Hz display, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.0, a backlit green LED full-size keyboard with numpad and Windows 10 Home. We'll be testing the performance difference between pre-upgrade and post-upgrade using Red Dead Online and Call of Duty Warzone. For the pre-upgrade test, first we have Red Dead Online. The first thing I noticed with Red Dead is that I was getting a warning every time I ran the game, essentially telling me that I don't have enough RAM. But I'll ignore it for now to do the testing. I had it running at 1080p low settings and I was getting an average FPS of 34. Next we have Warzone running at 1080p low settings with a render resolution of 66%. The average FPS was 43. Now that we have a bench line, let's get into the upgrade. To open this laptop, we just need to pull the 7 screws holding on the back cover. Then use a plastic pry tool to loosen the clips holding it in place. It can be a little tight the first time, so I recommend working your way from the back. We can now see a majority of the components that are important to us after removing this back panel. For the upgrade, I'll be installing another stick of RAM and an additional hard drive. For the memory configuration, there is 8GB of 266MHz DDR4 RAM pre-installed in one of the slots on the motherboard, with the other slot empty waiting for a dual channel upgrade. I'll be using this 8GB 266MHz memory to match the one already installed, and this will put the laptop in dual channel mode. For the storage upgrade, I'll be adding this 1TB 7200RPM hard drive I had lying around. This will give us more storage for the massive amount of space these modern games require. I just have to remove this 2.5 inch dummy drive that is installed and reuse the screws, bracket and connector that was nicely provided by HP. And with that, the upgrade is done. Let's retest to see if we get any improvements from the memory upgrade. Like before, I'll test Red Dead Online first. And with the memory upgrade, I was seeing an improvement of only 1 frame per second, with the average moving from 34 to 35. It seems that Red Dead is a GPU dependent game, as the GPU usage was pegged at 100% for both tests, so it was bottlenecked by the GPU speed and not the RAM. Warzone is where we saw a major improvement, where the frames per second moved from an average of 43 to 57. That's a massive improvement of 25% or 14 frames per second. I'm not sure if this improvement was caused by the speed increase of the dual channel memory or the fact that it has another 8 gigs of RAM to occupy. If I was to guess though, I think it was because of the RAM increase, as the RAM usage moved from 6 gigabytes to 13 gigabytes. And there you have it. I think this upgrade has been a success, and depending on the type of games you play, they can benefit greatly from having more RAM or having faster RAM. Having more storage is always a plus, and if I was actually buying a new drive for this laptop, I would go with a 2.5 inch SSD for the added speed and durability. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. 
leave a comment tell me what else you would like to see in these videos and depending on when i post this video i will be over 100 subscribers or very close to it I want to thank each and every one of you that subscribed, it really means a lot. And if you're new here and like what you've seen, you can consider subscribing and hit the bell so you can be notified of my next video. I'm Joe at Play, see you in the next one.